So, potato. Sweet potato right there. So, I was going to tell you the, the story of the crow mother. The crow mother. The crow mother. Right. So it's right. like the dog lady. So once upon a time, right. there was an old lady who lived in the woods. But and not she. A, she was a kind-hearted old lady, and she loved animals. And one day she was out in the woods near her cottage, gathering herbs, and she heard a disturbance in the underbrush. She went and she looked and she saw that it was a baby crow falling out of its nest high up in the sycamore tree. Well, it was too far up for the lady to find, so she couldn't take the baby bird and put it back in his nest. So she decided that she was going to help out the baby bird by bringing him home and feeding him and nursing him back to health. So that's what she did. She brought the little baby crow home and started feeding him a porridge of corn and little scraps of meat from her table. And pretty soon, the little crow got big. Began to grow up. I got five seeds. These are kind of old, so I'm going to put a few in. Good luck with that. Are these the duds? My yard is weird. Uh, huh? These aren't the duds, are they? I, I have no idea if these are duds or not. This is a different pack of seeds mm. than the ones that failed. The ones that failed were, were ones that I bought just this year. This is one that I had stashed from a few years ago. But it might actually be newer seed for all I know. Mm. Anyway, here we go. Okay, so he's eating the porridge. So, yeah, he eats, he eats the porridge, he eats little scraps of food from her table, and, and he, he starts growing up. He gets big, he gets strong, and he starts following her around. She starts teaching him little tricks and stuff like that. But he follows her around, and he follows her everywhere, everywhere she goes, and she, he watches as That's she does. That's a bird thing for you. Everything that he does. Mm -hmm. And you may notice sometimes when you're out in the garden and you're looking around, and you look up and you can see them sitting there watching the birds, the crows, the blackbirds, the starlings. They're paying a close attention to what you're doing. They like you more and more each year. But, as I was saying, this, this, this old lady had this crow that followed her around in the garden. And whenever she, she would work in the garden, she would come along and she would, she would weed. She'd pull the weeds out of the garden. Little bits of grass and things like that. And after she had, she'd done this and she went inside for the evening, she came out the next day and discovered that all of her corn was gone. She wondered what happened to the corn. And the crow explained that, that, that he was trying to help, that he saw that she was pulling up all those pieces of grass out of the garden area, and he, he wanted to help because there were some that she'd missed. So he went and he, he picked up those for her too. Because the crow, he just doesn't understand. He's good, at, he's good at seeing and imitating the behavior, but he doesn't understand what it's for. So he might do things that, that he thinks are being helpful, but, but he's, he's just a crow. Right. Yeah. Looks like somebody had to replant the corn and explain, don't pull the corn. Mm. This, oh, Billy, this turns into your porridge, little buddy. <laughs> There's more to the story of that, but I can't recall it off the top of my head. Nobody turns into a princess or anything? No, or... nobody turns into a princess. That must be a British thing, too. <laughs> the swan, like the swans that are princesses or Nothing the like prince that. or the princess. Okay, so I tried I tried sweet potatoes down in the middle there. Uh -huh. I'm going to try some squash. Uh, this summer, summer squash in the middle instead of the pumpkins. Pumpkins are going to go over here and over there and where the trees are. And not, but the not where, where the corn is, because pumpkins have little grasping tendrils, and mm. they can grab your corn and damage <laughs> yeah. your corn, pull your corn down. I want that happening. So, so you're trying to see what ducks will eat without destroying your corn? Yes. Yes, yes. Are you been ostracized? Does somebody like you? Are you that lone duck? Oh, they they were picking away at this stuff, and that, now that I've got them off of it for a couple of days, it's growing. That's Helianthus tuberosa. Uh, what's that in English? Jerusalem artichoke. Oh. <laughs> Everybody just shouted that. All four of them. Hey, I know what that is. That's a Jerusalem artichoke, man. Oh, you dropped one. 
Can you look? Yours is broken. It's broken. Oh. Completely and totally broken. Completely and totally. All right. Hey, they're over there by the grill. Let me see. Where do I want? I'll take right here. I thought there'd be like a scary part of the story. Grandmother? No. Well, I mean, the scary part is he, he, he came along. Uh, I, I think I, I think Pull the complete story is he eats the peas, he eats the vegetables, and finally she 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 catches the crow doing it, and 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 he explains that he's tr just trying to help, he's trying to help. So you gotta scold him carefully. I left him for a reason. Oh. Good to understand why people do what they do. Well, well, I mean, also just keep in mind no matter what you do, someone's always watching. Yeah, and then they'll try to imitate you to do it wrong. <laughs> the curve's always watching. Ah, bugs keep going in my ears. Sorry, YouTube. Uh, I went for it on YouTube. <laughs> All 14 of you. <laughs> All 14, huh? Oh, wow. Yeah. We're growing. I don't know who the other 100 people are. All right, so. See. You got baby ear on your potato. Huh? Boop. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know if it's going to root or not. So let's see. One, two, three, but. four. But. <laughs> no, I mean. It was like legs and butt. Legs and butt. <laughs> the ducks have found the plastic from the old hoop house. And they're trying to pull it up and get underneath it. Yeah, because they're thick, fat, juicy worms out there. I bet there is. <laughs> they're monsters. I mean, they're they're big. They're like, ah! Oh, I'm tripping on stuff. But to the point where you should be afraid. Of the ducks or the worms? The worms. <laughs> be afraid of those worms. No, not those ducks. <laughs> they, well. I had to warn that hawk moth not to go into past that fence. No, oh, the ducks will get him. So, they were t one of them was like going after something. I didn't see what it was. Unfortunately, it was low into, on the ground. Yeah. I think she got this it. Is, this is, this is cricnic squash, summer yeah. squash. Uh, we might have problems with, with, uh, with vine borer moths. Oh no, whatever shall we do? You gonna try your new gadget? I'm gonna try, well, I'm gonna try my new product. Concoction? Yep. A new concoction. One, two, yeah. three, four. We'll see if, uh, we'll Ooh. see if my, uh, my new product, product is capable of stopping vine borers. Wouldn't that be a hoot? Hey, have you sent any to anybody to see if it'll Not work yet? yet? No. Mm. I really should. You should ask for volunteers. Yeah, I should. I should ask for volunteers. Hey, does anybody want to test a product? Worst case scenario, it might work. Yeah. If it works, great. If it doesn't work, then oh, well. we, we will know that it does not work. Because some people have more problems with those little boogers than other people. Yeah. And. Yeah. You know, what, what if I you have just, a lot of problems with them. <laughs> what, if I, what if I just have no problems with vine borers this year? Yeah. Well, I guess... Because you really have been for... doing the vine stuff. Um, especially the summer squash. Yeah. So they probably moved on to somebody else's garden, we hope. Well, <laughs> if, they're, if they moved on to somebody else's garden, they're around. And there's there's also wild wild cucurbits out there. Cucurbits. Cucurbits. Oh, I found a bunch in New Mexico. Anybody bring back the melons? Wild squashes, gourds, yeah. I don't think they're edible. Some of them they look like miniature watermelons. And they, um. The buffalo gourd is at least mildly or marginally edible. It's somewhat edible. Well, I mean, I kept meaning people to have been Google known it. to eat it before. I kept meaning to Google it. Buffalo gourd? Oh, speaking of Googling, um, the lumber. Uh, bamboo can grow like 25 to 45 feet tall uh -huh. and then of course I had I had to check click the fastest growing bamboo like several centimeters in a second oh. uh. <laughs> uh. still good ish there we go uh, maybe you have to step on it a little bit to give it a little uh. oh no it'll it'll pop one of these days <laughs> Or, or a baby duck will emerge out of it because one of the, because, because one of our hens is a drake. No, <laughs> it'll pop. No, she's the pervy hen. I'm the boss. Yeah, I'm afraid it's yeah, it's Lucy Lawless. It's Lucy Lawless over there. We'll name her Lucy. Call sure. her Lucy Lawless. You just don't remember which one's which. Cause it'll look the same to me. 
She's the one going. I got a shamrock and I know how to use it. Okay. Oh, I'm in the way. All right. Break? Huh? 